Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over how to install BCML, the Breath of the Wild mod loader, on Steam Deck so that you can run mods using CEMU. Before we begin, please keep in mind that I didn't write or make any of the tools we're using in this video. If you have an issue, I can try to help, but please reach out to the original author of the tool you need help with if you have a specific issue. Next, I wanted to give a major shout out to SKS316 for his script to get this going. I couldn't have done it as easily as I did without it, so it was incredibly helpful in the making of both of these videos. What do I mean by both of these videos? Well, I'd also like to mention that this is a companion video to my Breath of the Wild deck dive. I highly recommend that you go watch that video if you haven't already if you want to know how to run the game to its full potential on the Steam Deck. And lastly, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if you enjoy the content. With that, let's get into the tutorial. First, we need to get something called Miniconda, which lets us use a different Python version than the system uses. To do this, search Google for Miniconda and select the install link, or press the link in the description below. Second, we need to click Linux Installers in the left bar to find the older versions. Third, find Python 3.7 and click Miniconda 3 Linux 64-bit to download the installer script. Fourth, go to where you downloaded the file and right-click it. Click Properties, then Permissions, check the Is Executable box, and press OK. Fifth, right-click the file again and press Run in Console. Next, you'll need to press Enter to read the license, and then Q to be asked if you accept, press Y to accept, and then Enter to actually install Miniconda. After it installs, it'll ask you if you want to run Conda init. I answered no here, but it shouldn't matter. After it's done, the window should close. Open your browser again and go to the link on screen now. The link is also in the description below. Click the Code button and then download Zip. Extract the folder to a location of your choosing, and then do the same thing we did for the Miniconda installer on the new install.sh file. Right-click, Properties, Permissions, and then check the Is Executable box. Then, right-click the file again and press Run in Console. Answer Yes and let the installer run. Mine took about three minutes. After it's complete, you'll get a pop-up telling you that it finished. Run the new icon on your desktop called bcml or bcml.desktop if your KDE was a little slow like mine. Next, you'll have to walk through the configuration. Each box is pretty self-explanatory, but if you need help, there's a little tooltip. MUDEC installed CMU on my SD card, so I need to point everything to the folder there. For example, the Breath of the Wild base game directory is on screen now and in the description below. After you've configured everything, all the boxes should have a green outline signifying that it's configured correctly. Assuming that it is, press the floppy in the bottom right. You'll be asked to confirm that you've read the disclaimer, check the box, and press the check mark. From here, you can install whatever mods you might want. The biggest Breath of the Wild mod site is GameBanana.com, with a link in the description and on screen now. I'm a big fan of the Second Wind mod, which is basically an entire fan-made DLC for Breath of the Wild. The version on Game Banana is slightly out of date, so I get it from the official GitHub page instead. You know the drill, link is on screen and in the description below. For this mod, you need to download two files, the larger of which is over 700 megabytes, which is about 5% the entire size of the game. Most mods aren't this large, but this just proves how big this mod is. After downloading the files, go back to bcml and press the plus in the lower right. Press browse and select one of the files, then do it again for the other file. Then press install. bcml will install the mods and do some magic to keep all of them as compatible as possible. Do note that the more mods you have and the larger they are, the longer this process takes. With just second wind, it took just under two minutes on my deck. After the process is done, you're all done. You can either get more mods to install or boot CMU and play. Keep in mind, you may not be able to get full performance without my performance tips, so definitely go check out my other video. That's all for this shorter video. Please let me know in the comments if you want some more of these shorter how-tos instead of my longer form content. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.